Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Hanna. Welcome to MedPsych Health. I have Dr. Mark Sykes with me again today. Dr. Sykes um, is a psychologist who works with us at MedPsych Associates, and he specializes in helping people with anxiety. And um, I'm kind of um, going to throw a question to Dr. Sykes here, and hopefully, again, he will know what to say. Um, if he says, I don't know, then we're going to have to turn off the video. But Dr. Sykes, uh, one of the things uh, sometimes people ask me is, so um, I know I'm supposed to do all these things and take all these precautions because of coronavirus and being careful, but what do I do when the people around me are not doing what you're supposed to do? If they won't take the same precautions, what do we do? What should I do? I think that's an understandable concern. And it's actually something that, that I see come up a lot these days in, in my practice. And it can be a source of, of both worry for someone and also it can end up being a source of tension in someone's relationship with someone else. Mm -hmm. um, I think my answer in some ways might not be totally satisfying to some people who might ask that question. But overall, I, I think a place to start is kind of work on letting go of your desire to control other people. While this is a scary time and there are regulations that we all want to follow, if you get too much in a pattern of judging someone else's behavior, um, especially if there's kind of like a should attached to it, you should do this, you shouldn't do that, really what that tends to do is it just creates tension in our relationship with other people and it keeps the anxiety cycle going. Yep. If you really feel like someone's doing something that is kind of overwhelming for you or you think is dangerous my recommendation is to, to have a conversation with that person but don't approach it with hey you need to do this or you should do this but see it more as a conversation and express how you're feeling in a respectful way and saying something like you know i'm really struggling with seeing that uh, i'm kind of washing my hands and, and making sure i'm social distancing but i see that you're going out a bit and, and, and it worries me. That's a way that you can approach a conversation with someone where you can make some headway and see if there's a place for, for compromise. And a lot of that will depend on, of course, who it is we're, you know, we're, we're saying this to. It, you know, if it's a spouse or a teenager or the neighbor or somebody we don't know at the grocery store, right? And so we kind of have to uh, recognize what is the nature of the relationship. So, but that's good advice. Um, I think that's helpful. Thank you uh, for sharing that. 